Walter was one of the top amateur golfers in the late 30s and the 1940s, early 50s in the Kentuckiana area. He was a lieutenant commander in the Navy. Uh, he came out and won 48 uh, state amateur at uh, Big Spring Country Club. He got to the semifinal, to the finals of the Western Amateur, which is a prestigious national event. A rival of the USM got beat by Frank Stranahan, who was the top amateur in the country. He was a great iron player. My brother and I used to shag caddy for him, uh, and then his own caddy, Tommy Sedone. And uh, the caddy would just stand there and one one hop oh, right there. It was right there. His shot patterns were just uh, really, really good. Mr. Cisco was a legend. And the only person I could really compare him to in amateur golf would be somebody like Bobby Jones. He was a fantastic amateur, but I don't think he had ever never had any intentions of turning pro. And uh, he was kind of a legend like that. You know? And uh, he was just a fantastic man. All the members looked up to him. They treated him like he was a, a, a legend, an athlete. He was a true amateur in the true sense of the word uh, amateur golfer. And uh, I think he, by trying to um, help other people get into the game at the time there weren't all of these programs like First Tee and things that were developed to enhance and, and entice people into the, the sport of golf. Uh, he did what he, he could do within his own circle to you know, grow the game, so to speak. We had a great relationship. Uh, obviously, uh, we played a lot of golf together. He took me to golf tournaments. He had, he really enjoyed working with, with my brother and myself in our golf games and some of the younger players at Ottawa Country Club. He enjoyed that. Unfortunately, we moved in 1960 from the Kentucky Anna area to the Chicago area. And he never played golf competitively in uh, Kentucky again. So uh, he's been forgotten for a long time time uh, he, because because of his competitive record uh, is the reason for his induction and I'm, I'm thinking that he will be remembered that way his record speaks for itself uh, winning two Kentucky amateur championships is, is remarkable I and mean, that's we had some very very strong players as we look back in that period and a lot of people may not be familiar with the Fall City Championship. That was our city championship. And that was a very, very big event. If you look back at it, you'll see winners like Bobby Nichols, Frank Beard, Fuzzy Zeller, and that's what all the terrific tour careers. Uh, so to win that, he had to beat some very, very fine players. Uh, so I'd say, there's no question he was a, an outstanding player and had to be recognized by his peers as, as a tremendous player. And that, that's impactful and uh, very important to back to golf. My dad, Walter Sisko, is a 2021 Kentucky Golf Hall of Fame inductee.